Thanks, David. So up first for Chicago, we have the Smart Docs team. So without giving too much away, Smart Docs tackles a really tough problem, which is how do you make the power of natural language processing accessible and productive? Smart Docs coordinates multiple APIs worthy of mention, including Rosette, Wikipedia, and Crossref.org, and adds custom annotations of the results in their rich text editor. So without further ado, here's Smart Docs. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for watching. My name is Brian. My teammates are Jake, Will, and Rob. Our project is Smart Docs, an intelligent note-taking app that finds research as you go. To begin, let's consider some common challenges with research today. First, it's time-consuming to find relevant research. It's difficult to foresee what other topics may be relevant to you, and sometimes it's just hard to work in a vacuum. We built Smart Docs to address these challenges. To show you how is my colleague, Will. Thanks, Brian. Let's see how Smart Docs resolves some common writing challenges. I'm going to start using Smart Docs. I can start writing a document of my own with a personal editor. But today, I'm joining a forum on a topic that others are talking about. If the list of topics is long, I can enter electric cars in the filter bar to easily find the right topic. I'm starting to compose my doc document in the left window while Jake and Rob are writing their own notes about electric cars. While we're each writing, we can see each other's notes in real time by simply clicking the person whose notes we want to see. So now I can see Rob's content on electric cars side by side my own. If I want to see what Brian's writing about, I just click Brian's email address in the user's panel and the peer notes window switches to Brian's notes. As Brian continues to write, I'll see Brian's notes update in real time in the peer notes window. As I write about the Tesla Model 3, Smart Docs finds important entities in my writing and sets them aside for me in the sidebar. This lets me stay in the zone writing my document, and I can refer to those entities later, whenever I'm ready. I can also add my own subjects to the list to research, prioritize them higher or lower, or remove them altogether. When you click the Show Research button, Smart Docs will intelligently find the most relevant sources of research based on the entities you've organized. Here's Rob to explain how. Thanks, Will. SmartDocs does research assistance using Rosette Text Analytics for natural language processing. Rosette uses a sophisticated combination of machine learning, statistical analysis, and semantic rules to analyze text and recognize people, places, and other entities, as well as the relationships between them. Rosette even can analyze the writer's attitude toward the main objects in the writing. A key feature of SmartDocs is that it presents the research it finds for you within the app, so you don't have to leave the app to start researching. Here, the dashboard gives you a quick overview of your writing, and there's a digest previewing the research found so far, a confidence score of its relevance to your writing, and the primary people and places mentioned. Clicking the different main sections gives you more detailed analysis. The entity detail gives you a list of all the important subjects in the writing and different possible definitions. The relationship detail shows if the different subjects of your writing are connected and how. And then the sentiment detail reveals whether your feelings towards the subject in your writing are positive negative, or neutral. But the centerpiece of Smart Docs is the research that will return to you right within the app. Here's Jake to explain those research results. Thank you, Rob. As you've all just heard, our application employs a natural language processor called Rosette to analyze the user's writing contents. But Smart Docs doesn't stop there. After the app analyzes your text, it uses what it has learned to execute a call to another database to find research relevant to the user's writing. This is more than a simple query on each of your main points. It will look specifically for data that matches a cross-section of your primary points. Smart Docs may discover a relationship that was not obvious to the user initially, which facilitates the discovery aspect of the research process. All the user needs to do is scroll through the research that's been retrieved for them and choose which ones they want to save. One technical challenge during this process involved setting up a server that ran independently from our primary environment, which could accept cross-origin requests from our app, interact with our language analytics and research database, and finally respond with the proper data. Thank you, Jake. Working on Smart Docs with this team was a great learning experience that gave our whole team a passion for what the future of writing could be. When you have a powerful, modern software working for you that provides silent analysis of your text, it allows you to continue working as you should, distraction-free. This is Smart Docs. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. So.
while David sends me all of his uh, technical bugs to solve, uh, whenever I have any writing problems, I, I send those to David. And so uh, I was especially interested in uh, Smart Docs. It, it made, uh, it re I really think, you know, writing long, complicated pieces of research or documents would be easier, very well implemented. I think this is a great application. I love doing free writing when I'm first trying to think about a topic, just kind of letting everything roll off uh, my fingertips and just get all my thoughts out there. And that, I think, application is a great next step to get a first stab of research out there. And then uh, you can continue to refine your, your thoughts, especially if you're working collaboratively with, with others on a topic. I thought that was really well executed.